We'll be in a parking lot and people come knock on the doors and then the dogs will start oh, going crazy. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, sorry, I just like your camper. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tyson. I'm Rosa. And this is Lola and Dixie. And this is our Ford Transit conversion. Welcome to the inside of our home. Come on in. So this is our entrance space. It's quite roomy. It is enough space to actually do some light workouts, which is great when you've got a few rainy days in a row. This here, we used to have a nice screen and that would keep all the bugs out, but our dogs liked to bust through it when they saw dogs or food outside. This is our little workstation, coffee station. Tyson will sit here and play video games at night. And I wake up a little bit earlier than Tyson, so sometimes I'll sit here and have a coffee and try not to wake him up. We've got a ton of fake plants. We added them this year because we wanted it to feel a lot more homey and um, earthy and just a space that really inspired us. We did have some real plants and those did not last very long. I'll bring you to the kitchen here. We've got a Dometic fridge. We love it, but we would definitely recommend not having something so big. This one is a big power hog and it's not really necessary to have all this space. Right here, we have a convection oven slash microwave. This is one of the things that we've probably only used a handful of times and we would never put in a build, in a future build. You can only use it when you're plugged in or you have the generator on. So we sort of feel like it's a waste of space. We would love to have some more storage space here or possibly a regular oven. Over here, we keep a butcher block here just to make use of the space. And then we've got a two burner Dometic stove, which is awesome. It does the trick. We love it. So over here, don't judge. We did not get a chance to do our dishes this morning, but luckily we have this nice lid that can hide our mess. We've got a nice little sink in here. Up here, we keep some extra um, glasses and things like that. This is utensils. And then we've got our pots and pans. We got this little pot years ago for camping and we still use them. We were able to set up passive income before we moved into the van. Um, we had two restaurants before what we owned two restaurants when we purchased this van. That was the kind of defining factor in us purchasing as opposed to building because we didn't have the time. Mm -hmm. So we were able to sell um, those restaurants but maintain some of the property and have that passive rental income. So this is our main lounge area slash reading nook slash dining room and anything else we want it to be that day. One of the things we like about this area is all of the windows. There's a ton of natural light. It's really great when the weather is not cooperative and you can't really be outside. You can still feel like you're outside because you have nature all around you. And up here, is most of our storage. We just keep our, our um, sheets and blankets in here for our bed. Um, we've got our vacuum, backpack, things like that in here. This one is broke, so I won't bother opening it. In here, we've got pantry items. Um, Tyson was a chef in a past life, so he does a lot of cooking things uh, he makes bread from scratch baking items from scratch he does a lot of cooking this is just more pantry space more spices dried goods all that good stuff and then even more food we love to eat down here we've got some more storage as well this top one is broke, so we've just kind of rigged this up temporarily to keep them closed while we're driving, but they both just have canned goods so that we're always taken care of if we end up in a space and we want to stay there for a week or two. We've got enough food to sustain us. In these drawers here, we just have tools and things that Tyson uses to fix things on the go. So we've got our TV here, 
We've used it only a handful of times in the two and a half years that we've been in here. I wouldn't really recommend putting one in a van because it's sort of a waste of space in my opinion, but. And this is our little control station where we can control the furnace, water heater, and then a little charging station right here. We upgraded the tires. We got some new batteries, that's solar true. inverter. I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not really uh, insulated that well because we have windows all down the side. Um, so we just kind of do our best to make sure that we're keeping our propane tied up because it's not a long-term boondocking vehicle. It was meant to be more of a, you take it somewhere and you plug it in at a campsite or something. So we did do a couple little things to make us be able to stretch that out. So this is our bathroom. We've got a nice little sink here. Mirror for getting ready. This is where we keep all of our clothes. We use the packing cube system. So we've got Tyson shelf, a communal shelf and my shelf. Tyson is a little bit more organized than me. And then in here, once again, my shelf, Tyson shelf, communal shelf, mine, everything is sort of just thrown in there. And Tyson's is once again, a little bit more organized. So surprisingly, this does a great job of holding all of our clothes. I actually have too many clothes in here and I'm gonna put some in storage, I think. This is the other side of our bathroom. We've got a few racks to hang towels and clothes that you wanna dry. A sliding door for privacy. A nice fan up here to get any smells out. We've got hot and cold water, which makes it super comfortable to shower in the winter. Toil Dometic toilet. A little vent for the furnace here. Shower curtain so that you can make sure your towel and all that isn't getting wet. Uh, so this is how we set up our bed. We do hide our window coverings for the cockpit back here, uh, but this is just on one mechanism and it just drops like that. And then we go stuff these in the windows, put on the sheets and you got a king size bed. For the electronics of the van, uh, we have our control panel up here. A uh, little level system to monitor our 57 liter black tank, 57 liter gray tank, and 75 liter freshwater tank. Uh, switch for our water pump and our generator ignition. Uh, underneath the van, we have mounted uh, two 100 amp hour batteries. Uh, and then under the bench here, we have our big water tank that I was telling you about some miscellaneous odds and ends. I keep an inverter down here uh, to plug in our electronics whenever we need. Uh, we also have our solar charge controller back there as well and an emergency heater if we're plugged in. Then over on this side, uh, I can't open it up right now, but uh, underneath is our water heater furnace combo uh, as well as a little monitoring system to detect if there's a propane leak or carbon monoxide leak just to keep us safe. Uh, up top is our air conditioning unit right above the bed so if it's really hot at night and we're plugged in uh, it just rains cold air on us which is beautiful. My favorite part is this area. I really like the fact that we have two benches mm -hmm. and we actually have more seat belts. So when we're visiting family, we can cart multiple people around. Mm -hmm. And um, my nieces, I told them it was a limo. So they feel like that's really cool. And I'll pick them up from school. And there's just a lot of room to, you know, if it is a rainy day, we can have multiple people in here hanging out. Mm -hmm. What about you? My favorite part's the bed for sure because it's 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 a king it's uh, so i'm you know it's big enough for me to sprawl out and give her some room because the dogs kind of do this yin yang thing with her where they're just kind of so she takes up more room than i do even though she's a foot shorter so this is our 2016 ford transit uh it is the extended length and the high roof uh on it we slapped on some big meaty bf goodrich ko2s uh these tires they are the largest size of tires that can fit on the Ford Transit. They actually raise us 1.75 inches, which was pretty cool. Uh, then moving on, we have a power step to make getting into the van a little bit easier. Uh, some lighting, we have a nice little 
light up here as well as LED strips for our big power awning, which is great. Up top on the roof, we have four 100 watt solar panels uh, as well as an air conditioning unit and a max air fan and a little fan for our bathroom as well. Let me show you what we got in the back. All right, so most of our components are here. We have a light for when we're working in the dark, uh, but we have our uh, electrical cables and extension cords, our hose, our fresh water connection. This is how we fill up our water usually. Uh, just got a little hose, plug it in there and top it up. We also have some outlets here, an outdoor shower, uh, and storage for our sewer hose with some shelving uh, that are hooked up with some button snaps just to keep some miscellaneous stuff, but uh, that's our garage. Over here on the other side, uh, we have a 22 liter propane tank mounted underneath. Uh, we also have a vent for our Truma Combi. It's a furnace uh, as well as water heater. Runs off electricity and propane, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we also have a port for a city water hookup. Uh, you just plug a hose right in and it pressurizes all the lines and a rinse inlet for our black tank. So when we're dumping out our sewage, we can actually rinse everything and get all the crud out, which is handy. Uh, we also have an exhaust for our undermounted generator, a power hookup for shore power, just plug right in, get all the electronics going, a little cable outlet we never really use, but it goes right to the TV in case we want to watch some cable. Yeah, discovering in-depth um, cities and places that we've already been, um, just getting to see them a little bit, like on a couple different levels, that's, that's really cool. Adventure. <laughs>